Hello friends, Ben Ochard here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I want to talk about filtration. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> More filtration talk. But today I want to talk about a different angle. And uh, you know the different oceans and lakes and rivers that I've been in. I've, uh, I've looked around and I've never seen a canister filter. And I haven't seen a sponge filter or a sump. <laughs> <laughs> and yet they look pretty pristine. They look pretty clean. So um, I'm thinking we, as fish keepers, could actually emulate, uh, really kind of copy more of what nature is doing to keep, uh, to keep those lakes, rivers, and oceans clean. And uh, we do in some ways, you know, with our filtration systems, we are copying uh, to some degree what nature is doing, but um, there are some areas where certainly I know I could, uh, I could do a better job and where I plan to, uh, to do more of in the future. And uh, let's take a look at the area of water changes. When you look at water changes, um, these don't occur in nature necessarily, but yet they do. They do through evaporation. And there are some folks out there who actually, and I know because I've spoken with them, they don't do water changes. They simply have a system that is, um, that is allowed to evaporate, and then they have what are called ATOs, or automatic top-off units, that are adding water as needed on an ongoing basis. And they don't do water changes. They simply let things evaporate and then replace that water with a simple uh, you know, spring-loaded lever that gets triggered when the water level goes down to a certain point and water goes from the tank into you know, the ATO tank into the main tank. So um, water changes occur in nature through evaporation and rain. And uh, we could do that on a gradual basis with these ATO systems these, these uh, automatic top-off systems. The other thing that I see a lot of um, is algae. And uh, for those of you who follow my channel, you know I, I, uh, I like algae. I think it's a good thing. Certainly I don't like it on the front and side panels, uh, obstructing view, but uh, green algae does a lot of great things for a tank, and in nature it is a very powerful filtration. It removes uh, CO2, it removes, uh, it consumes nitrates, and uh, it adds oxygen to the water, and also can be a source of food uh, for, for fish that eat, who need that kind of substance in their diet. I uh, try to harness algae by using what are called algae scrubbers. I get these things from Santa Monica Filtration. You can see them here. I have a, um, a smaller unit in the sump, in the middle section of the sump under the 150, and I have a slightly larger unit on the right side of the uh, 100 gallon, the tank you see behind me here. And uh, what that does is it runs a special uh, spectrum light uh, across a, um, a surface that grows algae. And so that algae, as it's growing, it is consuming nitrates, adding oxygen, and consuming CO2. So it helps with the process. Uh, another, another uh, and a very similar thing in tanks is plants. A planted tank, and at some point, one of my objectives is to have a, a, a tank that has no filtration on it. Only a lot of plants, uh, perhaps an algae scrubber, and, uh, and uh, I can't have plants in these tanks. What I have here are some plants from uh, Elite Cichlids and a couple other sources I found on the internet. Elite Cichlids, of course, are my favorite plants in this tank. And um, those plants uh, have to be plastic because from my experience, the cichlids destroy them. But real plants, if you can have a tank with real plants, they essentially will take the waste from your fish and uh, turn it into nutrients 
and help to consume nitrates from your tank. The other thing you can use for filtration, and which is of course available in nature, are critters. And by critters what I mean are snails, uh, shrimp, freshwater shrimp. There's some beautiful shrimp out there that I see in some videos on the internet. And uh, there are also some beautiful snails. I believe the fish that you see behind me would uh, probably eat and kill any shrimp or, sn or snails. <laughs> So that's another option that's not available to me with my current setup. But you know, bottom feeders, your plecos, your catfish, um, and of course your snails and shrimp. Uh, using critters for filtration, I think that's uh, also another way of harnessing just a natural way of filtering. And at some point, I would like to have a tank that has, um, that has a lot of plants, shrimp, snails, some catfish, maybe a, a small bushy nose pleco, and uh, a few fish, maybe some neons, uh, you know, a few uh, community type fish to provide some waste that can help feed the plants and have the ecosystem be a, a completely enclosed system that is being topped off with an automatic top off system and that requires no, no other filtration, no real uh, electronics except perhaps for lighting and uh, I'm sure there are some systems out there like that. Certainly, if you have one like that, I'd like to, I'd like to hear about it in the comments below. Uh, you know, be part of that convo gang, hit the bell, and uh, <laughs> join the convo gang. And let me know and let the other folks know who read these comments if you are harnessing some of nature's natural, um, natural filtration and are using things like algae and uh, snails, shrimp, plecos, and catfish. And, uh, and of course, if you're using an automatic top-off system, I'd like to know about that, how that's gone for you. And if you have a completely enclosed ecosystem that doesn't have filtration on it, please comment below. I'd like to hear about that. Any ideas I can steal from you, I'd appreciate it. So uh, that's it for me. I just wanted to uh, sort of wrap up this filtration series I've, I've put together with uh, a little bit, uh, you know, a little talk about how uh, there are things that can be done naturally that don't require uh, large canisters, enormous sumps, sponges, hang on backs. Uh, there are natural ways to keep water pristine. And I have seen examples on the internet of tanks that were absolutely beautiful and um, had no, nothing going on nothing going on with regards to what what we would traditionally call filtration all right so share your thoughts below i'd like to hear what you have to say on this subject and uh, it is much appreciate appreciated that you tune in as always thank you and a shout out to all of you who voted and selected this video thank you